Hello friends and welcome. Did you ever noticed when we turn the steering wheel during a turning, the steering wheel will come back to its initial position after taking that turn. There is no additional mechanism is used to for doing that. It's just the steering geometry. We are going to talk about the self-following torque that is leading to this phenomenon. If you have done a research about self-following torque, you must be seen a lot of videos regarding the caster angle which is leading to the self-following torque. But the truth is only the caster angle doesn't provide a self-following torque. Self-following torque is provided by the combined effect of slip angle, camber angle and caster angle. And the magnitude and the influence of these three angles are different. And the most of the magnitude is provided by the caster angle and a little by the slip angle and camber. Here we are going to look at how the slip angle helps to provide the self-following torque. We know that slip angle is caused by the distortion of the contact patch of tear and it will lead to the tear getting deviated from the path which is parallel to the plane of the tear to a different path and the deviation angle between these two lines is called as slip angle. The contact patch is formed when the vehicle is loaded. We know that the load of the vehicle is transferred through the tear to the road. In this case, when the vehicle start to move forward, uh, the casing that support the tread element will be shifted to the rear side. Because of this, uh, the center of pressure, the static center of pressure when the velocity of the vehicle is zero will be at the middle of the tear. But when it start to roll forward, uh, the center of pressure will be shifted to the trailing edge. So in the trailing edge, the dynamic center of pressure will be acting. So in the dynamic center of pressure, the cornering force will always act to the dynamic center of pressure. So it will not be acting at the middle of the tear. So it will be shifted to the dynamic center of pressure. The distance between the static center of pressure and dynamic center of pressure is called as pneumatic trail. The magnitude of pneumatic trail depends on the creep between ground and tear contact patch or the degree of distortion or degree of creep and as well as the vertical load acting on the tear, the tear inflation pressure, vehicle speed as well as the tear construction. These all factors are directly depends on the magnitude of pneumatic trail. For example, if you are considering the construction of the tear, if by comparing the cross ply with radial ply, radial ply tears will provide larger contact patch area, which will directly say that the radial ply tears have higher pneumatic trail than a cross ply tear. The lateral force, which is a side force acting on the tear, will be acting in a direction which is perpendicular to the center of the wheel hub. So it will be at the static center of pressure. But I already said the cornering force, which is the reactive force, uh, which is uh, generated due to the side force that is acting on the vehicle. So this cornering force will always act in the dynamic center of pressure. So because of the shift of this or the distortion that is happening in the tear uh, tread area, uh, I have said that uh, there is an offset between the static center of pressure and dynamic center of pressure. And this offset is called as pneumatic trail and because of this offset there are, these are uh, two forces uh, that are acting in opposite direction by uh, by a displacement pneumatic trail which is equal to the pneumatic trail so this offset will lead to a turning moment and this torque is called as self-aligning torque or self-aligning moment this will help us to uh, return the steering wheel after turning to the initial position so this is how self-aligning moment or self-aligning torque happens. This is only due to the pneumatic trail and the shift of center of pressure happening due to the vehicle rolling condition. If you learned how slip angle helps to create a self-aligning torque, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified when I make a new upload and hit the bell icon too. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and bye.